Hello, my name is Mohammed, and today I am going to discuss about a topic. It's called data handling. It's very easy and simple topics. You can gain the marks easily. Okay, and normally there are weightage for SX Grammar School for five marks. Okay, so it means five mark questions coming every year. So let me go to the state for the paper. Uh, CSSE 2016 and the question number 10 so basically the data handling is just simply giving you some information and on the basis of information you need to give some answer so for example we discuss as a pie chart okay we will discuss later on like a bar chart and the line graph as well so the same as here the topic given so this is came 2016 for the question number 10. As the question says, the diagram shows three different routes, okay? The diagram shows three different routes, okay? The route one, route two, and route three. For the features factory, mark as F. So this is the factory, okay, for the Peter to his warehouse. So Peter, okay, normally do the journey every day from factory to warehouse, okay? So there are three routes, route one, route two, route three, okay? And starting from factory to enter the warehouse, okay? And the warehouse represents with W and each section of the route is either motorway, okay? The M represent here, is a motorway and the main road which is represent from here okay so A is a main road okay M is a motorway from here to here is a motorway and this one is also for the motorway and A is just a main road okay or a minor road the minor road is just point out from this point to this point is a minor road okay so so it's a, a small road okay and uh, the length of each section of the route is also uh, given you and the further information the Peter expects to travel at 90 kilometer per hour on the motorway so what how how he drives okay on motorway motorway from this route to this route on the motorway okay so motorway from here to here he drives 90 kilometer per hour 60 kilometer hour normally he drives on main road so main road represent with a a here so this is the main road from here to here is the main road this point to this point is a is a main road this point to this point is a main road and 45 kilometer per hour on the minor road so minor road is only this is minor road okay this is only minor road in this diagram so this is the information given and now they are asking few questions so the question number one asking what is the total distance so total distance total distance from factory to warehouse factory to warehouse for the route number two so we need to find the total distance so the question number one it says okay the total distance from factory to warehouse from the route two okay so the route two is this okay so this one is the route two okay so this is your Route two. So you need to tell the total distance in kilometers. So what we do, we simply add the number of 
kilometers. Okay, so first 15 plus 15 is 30, 30 plus 30 is 60, and 60 plus 60 is 120 kilometers. The answer for the first question is very simple and easy, which is 120 kilometers. So 15 plus 60 plus 15 plus 30 and your final answer is 120 kilometer. So the total distance from factory to warehouse for the route to which is 120 kilometer. So now moving to the question number two. And the question number two is asking what is the total distance of the longest route from the factory to warehouse, okay? Now they are asking about, okay, longest, longest route among them, okay, in kilometers. So answer has to be in kilometer. So which one is the longest route when the Peters travel from factory to warehouse, okay? So the route two we already calculate, which we know that, what? The route two is, the total distance 120 kilometer. So we need to work out the route one and route three, and then we compare about the old three routes. So the route one is start. Okay, so route one, this is route two. So this is route two answer, which is 120 kilometers. So root 1 is 15, 15 plus using motorway 45 and then main load 60 and then 30 for the main road. So it means we need to add this one, okay, 60 plus 60 which is 120 and 120 plus 30 which is 150 so the second route is coming 150 kilometer so first route sorry taken 150 kilometer and now we work out the route number Route number three, okay? So, very simple, 15 plus 135 plus 30. So, which is 135 plus 15, which is 150 and plus 30, which is 180 kilometer. So, among them, 120 is the fastest, which is the route number two. And the longest route is 180 kilometer. So route number three is the longest. And your answer is 180 kilometer. This is the answer for second part. And the question number three is asking about Question number three is asking about how long in minutes will it take Peter to travel the first 15 kilometer on the main road from the factory, okay? So, starting journey, okay? First 15 kilometer from factory to main road, okay? This is the first 15 kilometer on a main road, okay? So, asking how many minutes taken? for first 15 kilometer. We are going to hear, okay, that how many speed, okay? So 19 kilometer per hour for the motorway, 16 kilometer hour on the main road, and 45 kilometer are on the minor road, okay? So A represent, so I can write down here, easy to understand this one, okay? So. This is MM, this is a speed for motorway, and this one is for A is a main road, and the minor, which is represented by B, okay? So he traveled on a main road, 15 kilometer, and using 60 kilometer per hour, okay? 
So, how many, the question, how many minutes for first 15 kilometer? As we know that is a main road, its speed is 60 kilometer hour. So, it means one kilometer for one minute. So it means every minute he's traveling one kilometer. So it means one kilometer times one minute time 15 kilometers. So the answer is very simple, which is 15 minutes. So 16 over 60. So it means 60 kilometer, okay, and is 60 minutes. So this one cancels, so it means one. So every, every kilometers he cover in one minute. So it means he's taken 15 minutes for the first 15 kilometers. So this is the answer for the question number three. Now, Move to the question number four. It's asking about how long in minutes will take Peter to travel 45 kilometer on the motorway. Very simple, okay? So Peter travel on the motorway 45 kilometer, okay? It's asking about how many minutes, how many minutes taken for 45 kilometer? We know that 45 kilometer and the motorway speed is 90 kilometer per hour. So, it's 90 kilometer per hour. So, what I can do it, okay, is the question number four, okay. So, how many, okay, how many, How many minutes on motorway for oh, 45 kilometer? So motorway speed is what? 90 kilometer every 60 minutes. So 90 kilometer. 90 kilometer for every 60 minutes, okay? So it means we need to find out 45 kilometer, 45 over, okay? Minutes, we don't know, okay? As per unknown item, we can write X and a cross multiplication there. So it means is 90 X and we need to times by 60 by 45 so if we do uh, times 60 and which is uh, 6 times 5 is 30 and 6 times 4 is 24 plus 27 to so 27 over 9 0 yeah so it means it means 9 0 cancel with this 9 0 9 times 3 is 27 it means how many it's a very simple okay you can answer because 45 minutes okay the double of 45 minutes is 90 okay so you can say one hour taking for a 90 kilometer so it means for a half hour taken for 45 so it means the final answer for four questions is 30 minutes. So how many minutes is taking? 30 minutes when he drive on the motorway for 45 kilometer. Very simple. And the last part, okay. And the last part is asking about how long in hours and minutes will take Peter to complete the whole route two. Okay, the route two is this one. Okay, so it's saying how many minutes 
an hour okay for this whole journey okay first we need to find out okay the road he used peter a a a and b so this is a main road okay the main road is a speed is 60 kilometer and for the minor road is 15 kilometer okay so what we do okay we need to find out okay total minutes total minutes this is question 4 and this is question number 5 okay it says total minutes for for root number 2 okay this is the question number 5 what we are doing okay very simple okay we need to add the numbers of kilometer for the root a okay so root a i'm saying the root a 15 60 and 30 okay so it means i can add 60 plus 15 plus 30 for root a and root b is already given just 15 kilometer so this one is root a total distance is one zero five so one zero five kilometer and we know that the root a speed is 60 kilometer per hour so traveling one kilometer for every minute so it means the root a is covered one zero five minutes very simple so how many kilometer he travel 105 kilometer as per 60 kilometer per hour so it means the same he is traveling one minute for every kilometer so we need to simply 105 times 1 so 105 minutes for just only the main road which is a and now we are going to work out our b very simple what we do okay is 15 kilometer and look at here when he drives on minor road the speed limit 45 kilometer per hour so what we do simple what we do 45 kilometer per hour 45 over 60 equal to so what we need to find 15 kilometer and divide by same x so 45 over 60 and 15 over x so this has become 45 x and 15 times 6 is 900 yeah so it means x equal to 900 divided by 45 so it means x equal to 20 minutes so it means for for b answer is 20 minutes and for a a plus b so 105 plus 20 minutes which is 125 minutes but we need to give an answer in hour and minutes so very simple 125 minutes means 2 hours which is equal to 120 minutes and 5 minutes so the final answer for this one is two hours and five minutes so this is the answer for the question number five okay so you can get easily five marks okay so the first one is question total distance from 
root 2, which is 120. And the question number 2, the longest, longest is 180. And how many minutes for 15 minutes, okay, which is first 15 kilometer, which is 60 kilometer one per hour. So it means he will take 15 minutes, the final answer for the third. And the question number four, how many minutes from the motorway? 45 kilometer. He drive 90 kilometer per hour. So the answer is 30 minutes. And the question number five, total minutes of the route two. Okay, A plus B. So we work out first, okay, main road, which is 105 kilometer. Okay, for 60 kilometer per hour speed. So it means 105 minutes. And the B, uh, which is minor road, he drive 45 kilometer hour. Okay, so we work out and for 15 kilometer, he took 20 minutes to so 20 minutes plus 105, which is 125 kilometers. So total two hours and five minutes. This is very simple question and you can gain easily marks five. Okay, now I'm quickly moving for another exam paper is very simple and very easy <clears throat> this is for 2000 CSSE 2015 and the question number four so the question number four says A class carried out a survey on a journey to school. Table and the bar chart have not been completed. So basically they are giving you a bar chart here. It's very easy. So on the basis of bar chart, you need to answer different questions. So this is the PSSC for 2015 and question number four. And this question, they are giving you a bar chart. And they are this bar chart is journey journey to school how they go to school Okay, so I'm just drawing this line here. One, two, three, four. And this is six here. And this one. This is the first line, okay. Second line, third one, one, two, three, and four. Four, and this is five. So basically this is a grid okay and the bar chart they are giving you
One, two, three, four. This one is this one is missing and and the last one is this one okay so basically this is the bar chart okay they give you the grid and with the help of this grid basically you need to give an answer and this is a bar chart and also give further information for this one they're giving you this one is okay this bar chart is a bus okay journey to school okay uh, and this one they also giving in a paper which is taxi and they also give one more one more information what they're giving you information about taxi Number four, walk, question mark, 15, they are giving you 15 here and missing this information and bike. Bike 27, car 11, and the total is 70. So, this is the bar chart, okay? Journey to school, okay? The people go to school, okay? By taxi for, by walk, we don't know, okay? They given a 15 but we don't know how okay they go and bike 27 and by car is going 11 okay so first we need to work out very simple and very easy okay what there are total number of pupils okay which are 70 okay so if i add 11 27 15 plus 4 to get how many the remaining which are doing by walk so it means it means 27 plus 11 plus 15 plus 4 so it means it's coming 7 plus 8 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 4 is okay so 4 5 67 oh, 50 Seven and the remaining is uh, total are seventy. So seventy take away fifty-seven, which is thirteen. So it means it means how many are doing by walk? Okay, which are thirteen? Okay, so we need to find out as per. The question, the question number one on the bar chart, add three missing label under the axis. Okay, as we know about this is called x axis. This is called x axis and this is called y axis. Okay, and as per the axis, there are, you know, three labels are missing. Okay, this one, this one and this one. Okay, now we need to. As for the information, okay, and if you see this grid, okay, so look at the grid, okay. Uh, first, we go for the taxi. Taxi is four, and the grid is showing very close to this one. So it means this is zero, and if this is zero, so it means the taxi is four. So it must be five, okay, 
And if you look at the car, okay, the car is, this is 10, more than 10, so it means this is 10, so we found 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30, okay. So this is the number of students, okay. And the first one is 4, which is taxi, okay, so it's match. This is right information. Taxi is going by four as per the chart. And the first one is five plus 10 and 10 plus one is 11. So it means this label has to be car. Okay, by car going how many? 11. And this one is five, 10, 15, 20, 25 and more than 25 which is 27 so look at here okay so this is 27 so 27 means how many going this is the label for bike and the remaining you know that okay which is walk and the walk is 13 so look at here okay 10 12 and which is 13 so you found the answer for the first questions so write down the missing label, which are three. So car, bike, and walk, okay? So the answer one for car, car, bike, and walk. This is the answer for the A. And question number, complete the scale on the bar chart, adding six values to the x-axis which we already done okay so the six values okay as we calculate by that the taxi has a four and we can see the grid equal to one is five six grid okay so we need to put this okay number on y-axis so the b you need to simply enter the number so you can write down okay zero five ten fifteen 20, 25, 30, okay? So this is your answer for the B. And C, in the table add the missing category, okay? So mit missing category is which one? Is which we don't know, okay? And missing category is bus, okay? And look at here. So we need to work out this one. This is, we draw 15. So missing, missing category is bus. So the answer is missing category for bus. In the table, add the missing Data value, if you already work, okay, missing. This one is not giving, okay, 13, okay. We add 70 minus 57 to get the answer for the 13. So the answer for the D is very simple, 13. On the bar chart, add the missing bar, okay, which we done this one, okay. The bus is missing a bar chart, okay. So this is very easy, okay, the bar chart, giving information about journey to school, okay, how the students are traveling to the school by car, by, bu by, by bus, by walk and taxi, okay, and they are missing some information, you work out as per the questions, the first one is, okay, how many are the missing label, we work out, okay, car, bike and walk, and access is also missing value on the basis of the grid, five different, so we can add 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, and the answer for the C is a bus because the missing category is a bus and the D is a how many are doing walk by 13 and question number C is the missing bar which we draw here okay so this is the data handling okay very easy and very simple you can get easily five marks so if you like this video, please leave comments and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.